Hello, my name's Jonathan and welcome to another episode of The One Motor Home. This is the channel where we try to find the perfect layout, the perfect design, and basically the perfect motor home for you. Today, we're actually in Romania. We're in Bucharest and we're at a company called Axis. Now these guys rent out motor homes, so if you did fancy a holiday here in Romania, you can pop along to Axis and rent one of these beauties out. They start at around 100 euros per day, going all the way up to around 250 euros per day, depending on what time of the season and what model you go for. This particular one that I'm going to be demonstrating today is a Heimer Mercedes BMC i580. As you can see, it looks very stealthy because it's been wrapped in this sort of anthracite gray. So it's an absolute beauty. As usual, we'll start the demonstration up on the outside, having a good look around. Then we'll go inside, have a look at the layout, and I'll go through some of the technical details in there. Let's go. Look at how mean this looks. Now this is the first one I've seen that's been wrapped, so it's a very, very cool colour and it looks super, super mean. Um, obviously on a Mercedes chassis, it's got a fully automatic gearbox, it's got 170 brake horsepower, obviously it's a high mess, so the quality's there and look at it. Black alloy wheels, wrapped grey, <laughs> oh what an absolute machine this is. Lots of storage compartments on the outside, so let's start off having a look at those. So let's have a look. Let's open this up. Oi, there we go. So this is basically a little storage compartment in here where you can keep bits and bobs. And then let's go along. This one is where your toilet cassette lives. Underneath, let's see if we can open this for you. Let's have a look storage in here as well and if you have a look it goes all the way underneath the floor look at that so that's great then a little bit further along this is where you fill up your fresh water tank and this one's got a fresh and a wastewater tank in here two huge gas bottles so they'll keep you going for a long long time and you can rent this out, like I say. So if you did rent this out, it would come with the gas. It'd also come with all the chairs and things inside. Ramps, so ramps, so chocks they call those. A little table, so you've got everything to get you going. It's even got a water hose, hookup cable, everything with it. But that's a really nice size garage. So if you did want to put bikes in there or something like that, that'd be no problem at all. However, on the back of this motorhome, it has got a bike rack which will carry three bikes so you can take your bikes along with you also up on the top there it's got a reversing camera and really really sleek looking look at this i can't emphasize enough how cool this thing looks but let's have a look so just to open up this side of the garage for you just so you can see there we go look at that that is a huge garage isn't it up on the top, just above the garage, you've got an awning, which runs all the way along the top there. And just here, let's have a look. This, I believe, is where you plug in on the campsite to your electricity. And this is your vents for the fridge and up above that for the freezer. Um, it has got an electric step. So that's your step to gain entrance to the vehicle. And this is your habitation door. And just above that, you've got an LED light. But let's go inside and have a proper look, shall we? So as you gain entrance to the vehicle, we've got a nice little bin here, electric step just down below, and then on the habitation door, you've got a fly screen to stop those unwanted pests getting in there. Inside the cab, obviously this is on a Mercedes, so it's an absolute beauty to drive. Um, it's got the MBUX system, so you've got satellite navigation, DAB radio, you can connect this to your mobile phone, so you can have all your media and stuff like that on there. Also has cruise control, multifunctional steering wheel, electric window on the driver's side, heated windscreen by the looks of it, and plenty of space to sit and relax whilst traveling. People often forget that the majority of the time they're in these motorhomes, they will be in the cab. And I've tested these seats out for you and they are super, super comfortable. You've got privacy screens that go across the window here, 
also across the driver's, so the, uh, the front windscreen and also on the uh, driver's side here as well. So that can be completely privatized. Up on the top, we've got a double bed. So let's see if I can undo that for you. That just pulls down, there we go. And that is a double bed. And that is a huge double bed. If you can see up there, there is a little ladder to help you get into the bed. And also you have got LED lamps to keep the area illuminated. The way that works is basically these two seats fold forwards like this and that drops all the way down. But I'll show you an image of that later on. Inside the cab, you have got two extra traveling seat belts. So you've got four traveling seat belts. So you can actually travel with four people in this legally. Also, this can drop down and they make this into an occasional bed if you've got the additional pillow or cushion, should I say, but it's mainly designed for four people. It comes with this huge television. So you can basically pull this out like that. Look at that. Whoop, there we go. And turn this into your personal little cinema. So the idea is when you've got this television out, these two seats at the front, they're called captain seats and they swivel around so you can sit there with your feet up watching a bit of TV. Obviously, this is an L-shaped lounge. The vehicle is completely double floored. So you've got storage underneath the floor as well. And it gives you sort of like an underfloor heating effect. In the kitchen area, we've got a little bit of extra work surface. So that pops out to make your sandwiches and things. Underneath here, we've got three gas burners and here we've got a nice size sink and obviously a tap which runs hot and cold water. Just above that, if I can open it, there we go. We've got plenty of cupboard space up there. And then just below that, we've got some drawers as well for keeping all your uh, cutlery and things like that. I'm just going to close this door because a helicopter is going past and we're very close to Bucharest um airport so they are flying by very quickly just to let you know as well guys if you were wanting to rent one of these vans out um, it's about a 15 minute drive from bucharest so you can jump in a taxi come here pick one of these beauties up and off you go all around romania enjoying the sights and scenes and it's amazing here really it is staying with the kitchen just here on the left hand side you've got your fridge and freezer so freezer box on the top fridge on the bottom and that is a three-way fridge which means it'll work from gas electric or a leisure battery just here if i can open it up bit of wardrobe space even got some hangers there <laughs> so they've left some hangers in for you <laughs> um, but this is obviously to hang your clothes and then just beneath that you've got some more storage space staying with the cupboards just underneath here we've got plenty of cupboard space a little bit dark in there at the moment but you can hang your clothes in there and then just to the right, some cupboard space again for folded clothes. At the back of the vehicle, look at this. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this bed, by the way, guys, because it's absolutely huge. So two single beds, or you can turn it into a double. But above this bed, we've got cupboards here, all the way around the back, and on the left-hand side here as well. These beds are super comfortable and super cool looking, look at this. I mean, you've got LED lights absolutely everywhere. Moving back, so just to give you a, an image of this vehicle as you sort of step back from everything, look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Look at it. Oh my God. And the color of it. What do you think about the color, guys? <laughs> Remember guys, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. And of course, once you subscribe, hit the bell icon and you will get notifications when I post new videos and there's lots and lots coming. This is the shower room. So this is very cool. Look at this. And this has got a shower um, glass cubicle that goes all the way around here. So doors that shut you in there. So nothing's going to get wet whilst you're having a shower. Nice little area for having a wash, do your teeth. And you've got two toothbrush holders there. Big mirror if you're vain like I am. And then at the back, we've got a bit more storage for your shampoos and things like that. Look, just below, we've got the electric flush toilet. So that looks very comfortable, doesn't it? Almost like a throne. And then underneath the sink, 
just here, you've got a toilet roll holder and a little bit more storage as well. The bed at the back is super, super big and it's got a little trick to it. So I'm going to see if I can show you with one hand. So bear with me. So this part here folds up. This one drops down. Then I believe you grab this. Here we go. See if I can do this with one hand. There we go. I mean, if you can do it with one hand, then it must be easy, mustn't it? But that basically is some little steps that come out. Then you drop this little hatch back down and you've got an infill cushion here. So that and I can't do it with one hand because I need to push it in, but you get the idea. That clips into place and then you've got a huge double bed at the back. So let me just move that out of the way. Whoop. And then if you want to fold it away, up with the little hatch, lift the ladder up. Again, this is one handed. Down it pops and then shut that, pop that up and you're good to go. So this is the part where I normally tell you the good things and the bad things about this motorhome. Now I have to admit, I can't actually think of anything that's bad about it. Made by Heimer, German quality. On a Mercedes, German quality. Sleeps five, travels four, and this particular van is on a three and a half ton chassis. Also, this one's been wrapped in that super self color. So this by far stands out from the rest. I've never seen one wrapped like this and it's amazing. So if you are thinking of wrapping your motorhome, I can't re recommend it more. Um, remember guys, if you do want to rent this, hire it out, then you can come to Bucharest in Romania, hire it out. They start at around hundred euros per day, going up to around 250 euros per day. And I'll leave a link in the description below of the company Axis who hire them out. And remember, they're only 15 minutes away from the airport. Let me know in the comments what you think of this van, guys. I'm going to be doing lots more footage soon from the One Motorhome over and out.